In this project, we explore the problem of image localization. Uh, the basic task is to take an image with absolutely no metadata and estimate where it was taken. Uh, we do this by taking a database of images tagged with location data and using image matching and similarity detection algorithms to find pictures in that database that match it closely. To do this, we'll use big data techniques for database generation, for image storage, and for querying that takes advantage of distributed file systems and massively parallel computing through Hadoop and MapReduce. The conventional approach to image matching consists of three basic steps. Uh, first, we pick a feature extraction algorithm, uh, for example, SIFT, and use it to identify key points in our images. So these key points are then transformed into descriptors which generally are high dimensional vectors, which could be as, as high dimension as 64 or 128. And then to determine matches, we look at these descriptors and measure their distances from one another. So a nearest neighbor search on the two images that we're looking at will tell us if the images are similar if they have lots of descriptors that are close together. Uh, there are several problems with applying this basic approach to a large database. Uh, for example, it's easy to see that just doing these pairwise comparisons of images over you know, millions of times becomes too expensive. Uh, also, the most robust feature extraction algorithms that are favored today for their invariance to scale and rotation, like SIFT, turn out to be completely computationally expensive and you know, can take up to 30 seconds to perform on a single pair of images on a desktop. Uh, finally, due to the high dimensionality of feature descriptors, Performing nearest neighbor search to determine matches is difficult and on its own and can be time consuming. To address the problem of slow feature identification, we simply had to choose the right key point detector and the right descriptor extractor. Uh, there are many of these algorithms in the literature. Uh, we selected OORB, O -R -B, short for Oriented Fast and Rotated Brief. As its name suggests, this is a combination of the fast feature extraction algorithm and the brief descriptor with an added notion of orientation invariance. ORB was developed specifically as a computationally efficient alternative to SIFT. While the quality of the matching is not always as good as that of SIFT, the order of magnitude increase in performance makes it feasible to be used on such a large number of images. Uh, as you'll see in later slides, the fact that the descriptors are represented in binary rather than floating point vectors is also advantageous. So when we look at scalability of descriptor matching and the nearest neighbor search, uh, that's when things get more interesting. Uh, in recent literature, locality sensitive hashing has been identified as a promising solution to this problem. So suppose that we have some distance measure, like the Euclidean distance for example, and we want to use this measure to determine nearest of image, nearness of image descriptors in a nearest neighbor fashion. So locality sensitive hashing suggests that there is a family of hash functions for that distance measure such that features that are close together have a high probability of hashing to the same value. So the farther apart they get, the less likely it is for them to hash to the same value. This means that features that are very close together will hash to the same bucket with a very high likelihood. Uh, the cube image seen on this slide shows a simple example of hashing the corners of the unit cube using three hash functions. Uh, LSH, as it's often abbreviated, allows us to bin features together efficiently without computing nearest neighbor distance directly at all. Um, LSH families for many distances are known, but usually they're not straightforward to prove or to derive. The exception here is for the Hamming distance, which simply measures the number of bits in two binary strings that are different from one another. The hash functions that comply with LSH for the Hamming distance are simply bit samplers, uh, bit sampling functions. So to hash binary image features with this in mind, we can just take some bit mask of length k and apply it to these descriptors. Descriptors that are equal inside that bit mask are hashed to the same value, and so by repeating this many times for a collection of bit masks, we can increase the sample size and rule out bad matches. After applying all these hash functions to images in our database, we can arrive at a big table like you see here at the top. Uh, so for each image, we'll get a list of descriptors, and for each of those descriptors, we have a collection of hash values for each of the hash tables that we generated. 
this is really all the data we need to do a similarity search, but it isn't really in the optimal format. Uh, instead, what we really want is to split up and invert this big table, so to speak, such that features that hash to the same value are grouped together in a list. Uh, this can be thought of as a sort of vocabulary, since similar features are described by the same word. Um, this representation allows us to dr drastically reduce the search space uh, when doing image matching queries on the database. So, okay, now suppose we have some query image and we've extracted all the descriptors from it. Uh, we can then very efficiently hash each of those features and see which bag in the bag of features they belong to in our hash tables. Now we've reduced the sample size to acceptable levels, since for similarity checks, instead of the millions and millions of descriptors in our database that represent all of those images, the only ones we need to look at are those that collided as far as the hash tables are concerned. And to make a good estimate of which database image matches our query image, we can look at which images the collided features came from. Uh, the most commonly appearing database image in this list of colliding images should be the one that is most similar, since the most features should be similar to the query image. As a test dataset, we use images taken from Google Street View. The goal for our test cases is to collect pictures taken by Google Street View cars around the block of Columbia Morningside campus. Then we will take some query image that are not in that set and see if the system returns the picture taken close by. Due to the data limits and paywalls imposed by Google, we paired this database with about 15 gigabytes of other imagery uh, taken from other resources. These uh, pictures are of a wide variety of scenes, some urban and some otherwise, so they provide a good noise floor for testing. In implementing the system, we use several different languages and platforms. First, to mine Google Street View for imagery, we use the Google Maps JavaScript API to interpret uh, points along Street Views in New York City and plotted them as uh, markers in the Google Map. We were then able to export this list of points and construct URLs to uh, query Street View for images at those particular latitude and longitude locations. For image feature extraction, we leverage existing implementation in the OpenCV Computer Vision Library. Extracting ORB descriptors uh, for a given image using OpenCV is quite easy and the implementation is highly efficient. While OpenCV does include an implementation of local uh, locality sensitive hashing uh, through risk inclusion of FLAN nearest neighbor search library, it, it was not suitable for, uh, suitable for us uh, for our use case, so we implement our own Python module uh, in C++. We choose to go this route rather than implement it directly in Python because speed was a concern, and because the speed level implementation uh, required uh, was just easier to do this way. To generate our back of features database, we used Apache Peak a high-level platform that abstracts how to memory-reduce jobs into notations called uh, piglanting. That looks familiar to rela uh, relational database manipulation in SQL uh, and so forth. Through this Hadoop integration, we are able to store all the files associated with the system, with uh, the Hadoop distributed file system, and the query mechanism will all take advantage of the parallelization provided by MapReduce. Here are the results of the project. On the left, uh, there were two pictures with details uh, of the best matching. Every one of them is composed with two parts the query image on the left, and the matched image in the database on the right. As you can see here, the green lines show the matched key points in the two, two images. Most of them are good matches, for example, the line under the window here. They show exactly the same location in different Im images. Uh, while a few of them are not good due to the change of viewpoint, for example, in general, uh, the matching is good enough to find the right answer. 
Uh, here on the right, uh, it is a screenshot of the result of the big script. Uh, for each path of value, uh, the first number means the image ID in the database, and the second one means how many features with same hash value shared between this image and the carrier image. For example, for this uh, 13 and 500, the first entry, and it means image 13 has 500 features, same with the carrier image. This list is sorted by the second number, so it means image 13 and 0 have the most number of features, same with the carrier image. Furthermore, uh, they are the best matches. And uh, after that, we will look into the database. Um, image 13 and 0 are exactly the best matches image, and they are the same. So, this is all for our introduction of our project. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.